speaker. Since the government seems unusually interested in statistical definitions this week, let's talk about a simple concept, the median household income. The most recent StatsCan data shows that the annual median household income has only increased by a paltry $100 since the Conservatives came to power. As for the bottom 20%, their income has fallen by $500 a year. Do the Conservatives have a plan to help these clearly middle-class Canadian families? The Honourable Minister of State for Finance. Mr. Speaker, uh, StatsCan has confirmed that families are better off today under the Conservative government than under previous Liberal governments. Mr. Speaker, the very same statistics indicate that median net worth of Canadian families have increased by 44 per cent since 2005. And again, Mr. Speaker, after tax disposable income has risen by over 10 per cent across all level incomes since 2006. Toronto Centre. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to ask the government to consider a few more simple yet worrying statistics. The percentage of working age Canadians who today hold jobs is lower than when this government took office. Youth unemployment is at 14 percent, more than 2 percent higher than when the Conservatives came to power. Meanwhile, the number of adults working for the minimum wage has risen by 50 percent. What is the government's plan, apart from denial, to create better opportunities for these people? The Honourable Minister of State for Finance. Well, again, Mr. Speaker, uh, even though the global economy remains fragile, it's a fragile recovery, especially in the United States and Europe, uh, our economic policies have helped protect Canadians. Over a million net new jobs have been created since July 2005, with over 85% of those full-time and over 80% in the private sector. Mr. Speaker, the best job creation record in the G7 by far. Uh, under the action taken by our Conservative government, Canada will continue to have one of the lowest youth unemployment rates in the G7.